Aula, uh, ich hatte Simon. Here we have on Norbert from Poland, Christian from Australia, uh, from Kangaroo English, and Ricky from America, from Bilingue Blogs. And today, sprechen we on Aula English. Ich shall say a word, uh, mit stream thing to help on. Um, ich shall read that word uh, on Aula English and hold it up. And he shall read what it is. So, we we off getting off with something out there, and that word is arc. Arc. <laughs> arc. It's trail. It's great trail. It has bergen. And it has ekernu. Uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Let me know if you need anything repeated or you want the fourth one. Could you repeat both of them? <laughs> okay. Um, there's, there's three. It's grat treo, it haf bergan, and it haf ekernu. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Okay, so do you, do you guys have any guesses, any ideas? Uh, <laughs> I honestly have zero clue <laughs> what this is. I actually have uh, an idea, but I, I'm pretty sure it's not that, that right word, but I know something. Do you guys have any ideas at all? I, I don't know why, but I think I know what this is. And I think I understood even three of the clues out okay. of the four. So I feel, I feel like I got lucky this first time. That's, that's how I'm <laughs> feeling right now. Okay, Ricky, do you want to put something? Like, give, give us your best shot. <laughs> yeah, so originally I was thinking it was like Ark, like, like you know, Noah's Ark, but yeah. I don't think so. So I put man. <laughs> you want to see my answer? I put okay. man and, uh, in my answer. Okay. I understood. Yeah, big tree. Oh. <laughs> Christian's got it. Uh, yes, uh, Christian. I, exactly. I heard yeah. he said a Groot, a Groot tree, right? Like a, like a big yeah, tree, yeah. like a great tree. Exactly. exactly. Wow. That's very impressive. And you got you got big green over. That's the only thing I understood. Also, mm -hmm. the B B uh, Groot Tro or something like Trea Trea. Yeah, that's very good. Mm. And I think also you said half half. I don't I don't know the third thing, but you said half, and it sounded something like acorns. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Uh huh. But the other the other word I didn't understand. Half. Belcom. Um. That was bark. It has bark. Ah, oh. oh. oh, uh -huh. okay. But the idea was that you'd think it was arc. So, Ricky. Yes. <laughs> I was like, there's no way it can be arc, though, because of the way you were describing it. But I was like, uh, let me try something yeah, different. Yeah. 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 But it was very difficult to, to understand. At first, I didn't understand anything. Just the second time you repeated it, I, I got mm -hmm. something. And I knew it was kind of tree. And I was even thinking about oak. But I didn't really have any clue to confirm that, you know. It's just oak is a very popular European tree. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's that's interesting. How would you say oak in Polish? Domp. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you if you're stubborn, you can make the connection there, you know. <laughs> you, but yeah, it's also a very short word, you know, just three yeah. letters. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, do you have oaks in America, Ricky? We do have oak trees in America, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't, I don't know exactly where they're they're located, but we definitely have them. But my favorite is it's a palm tree. That's why I moved to Miami so I can see more palm trees. So oh. <laughs> not one of reason you moved there. <laughs> it, it's it's funny because in um in Australia these trees like oak and chestnut they're really kind of exotic because they don't grow in Australia and they're they're super expensive. And then I come here because now I live in Spain and we burn them on the fire. It's just, yeah. <laughs> <it's> <laughs> wow. <crazy. laughs> I never thought about it that way. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's interesting. Good. I guess we are ready for the uh, second round. Yeah. Um, no, we've gone on with green de toes. Green de toes. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> it's in se mousse. It's in se mousse. We et on methods. We et on method and we have on 12. Mm. We have on 12. 
Wow. Wow. Do you guys have any questions or you already have some ideas? I had an idea, but then the last thing threw me off of that idea. <laughs> So uh -huh. it's going to be a complete shot, shot in the dark again, I believe. Can you, can you repeat it one more time, the, what you, the description? It's in the mouth with Ethan method and we have on 12. Okay, yeah. So when you're ready, we can all show our guesses. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, um, Christian got it exactly right and Ricky got it pretty much right as well. Um, but and but you no, I thought it was a muffin or something to eat. You said you said something to eat, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I said um, I said we eat with it, like we use it to eat. But mm. you said uh, we eat it uh, at uh, twelve, like at noon. We hub on twelve. We have twelve of them. I understood that part, and that's why I'm like, it can't be teeth. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I was thinking, what? what how, 12? Because I don't really know anything about how many teeth humans have. That maybe that's, right, yeah. that's really embarrassing. I have, how many teeth no, no, do you have? Fine. I have no idea. I, I mean, I think 32. Yeah. I guess mm -hmm. it depends if you have uh, wisdom teeth as well, because some because they're molars as well. But but yeah. So the grinder, the grinder part of grinder tooth, tooth means grind. So grinding teeth. Ah, uh, molars, molars. You know what? That, that makes sense. I actually started out writing molar, but then I changed it to teeth. I'm like, I don't know how many we have. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> so it's actually a, a kind of tooth, like special. It's a kind of tooth, yeah. A kind yeah. of tooth. So you, Christian, were close, but not Christian was, right there. Christian wrote molar, didn't you, Christian? Uh, yeah, I, I wrote molar uh, just as a guess because uh, okay. it was the only tooth that I knew the name of. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yes. I, I like that it's connected to grinding, you know, yeah, it's yeah. very, dis very descriptive. That's, that's what gave it away for me. I'm like, I know it has to be something with, with teeth, but then when he said 12, I'm like, it, it just can't be because we have more than 12 teeth. But. Yeah. <laughs> you said, I mean, you said you nearly wrote molar, didn't you? Yeah, I, start, I started off writing molar, but I'm like, eh, I, I don't know. I tried to count them in my mouth and I'm like, I think I have more than 12. I don't know. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so we've got 12 molars. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And we have premolars as well, which pretty much feel the same. So that, mm -hmm. but anyway, anyway, that's a dentition lesson. <laughs> <laughs> that's another video. That's another video. <laughs> that's another video. Right. Dentistry in Old English. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't, I don't think I know the other, the other kinds of teeth in Old English. <laughs> Maybe they didn't have any. Maybe they only have them. <laughs> the others just fell out when they were children. <laughs> okay, are we ready for the third one? That Frida is Deor. Deor. Mm -hmm. okay. Deor. Okay. Sum haban her. Sum haban shilla. He kunan on live or the dowd burn. Can you repeat that? <laughs> sum haban her, sum haban shila, he kunan on live or the daud burn. And folk sind on deor. Any ideas? Well, um, <clears throat> I think that maybe I understand some of the clues, but it's still, I still have absolute, I have zero idea. Zero idea. I can take a guess, but I think it's, it doesn't make sense with the clues. So, I don't know. Give us your best shot. I, I have an idea, but I just understood like one word. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Ricky, are you ready? Everybody is showing the word. One, two, three. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> three completely <laughs> different. It's a completely different answer. Oh my God. Who got it right? Um, Christian came the closest. But, wow! Really? <laughs> but the thing is that you picked up on the hair thing, Ricky. Yes. It's a false friend. So that it's the Old English cognate of the modern word deer. So Christian got it right in that respect. But in Old English, it just meant any kind of animal. So I said uh, some have hair, some have scales, um, and they can be alive or dead. And I said folks in deer, people are animals. <laughs> and I understood that the folks are singing it. Oh, right, okay. Folks <laughs> sind on. Oh, right, okay. This was the thing. I was like, people? 
What what's happening with the people with the folk? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what what? How do you say um scales again? Because I I heard the scales, but I'm like maybe I'm just like thinking the wrong word because it's like I, I heard the hair and I'm like okay, what's the opposite of hair? And I I was thinking maybe bald because I'm like maybe no hair, but I'm but it sounded to me it did sound like something that was like slithery. I don't know if it was scales or, or whatever, but what's the word again? Shilla. Shilla. Yeah, that made me think of like slithery. So I thought of a snake and I'm like, okay, well, it can't be a dog. It can't be a snake. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, isn't, isn't that a really fascinating kind of example of like sound symbolism? You know how yes. the word sounds like the thing that's, that's super cool. Super cool. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. And, and what about the third clue? They, there could be Levy le- 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 or Dowd? Oh, he, he Conan on Leve or the Dowd burn. They can be alive or dead. Mm. Oh. Leave her. So on leave it is like on life. They can they can be on life, so they can be alive. Uh, I thought yes. I thought that maybe it was something like like bright and dark, like maybe white and black. Oh, That's sorry. what I was thinking, but no, yeah. totally wrong. No, but you got you got the nearest though. Like the word, it was supposed to sort of trick you into saying deer because it's like the word is cognate with the word is the ancestor of deer, but it meant something else back then. Uh, animal, just any kind of animal. That's so interesting. Also, I, I heard, and I don't know if it's true, I'm sure I read that, um, that also in, maybe it wasn't Old English, maybe it was Middle English, but pig was also a word for any kind of animal. Was it pig or, or maybe hog or, or pork? Possibly. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I don't know, but there are, there are all sorts of things that like got sort of narrowed down to specific categories for animal names. So the... The old English word for bird was fool, and that became the word fowl, like yeah, game wow. fowl. So it wouldn't surprise me if, if an, a word for pig was similar. It's funny how, isn't it, don't you think it's interesting how the word for deer, which in modern life isn't really a very kind of common animal, used yeah. to be, obviously it used to be the most kind of common animal, right? Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> it's just regarded as, and it, the German word tier means any kind of animal as well, and that's, that's, cognate with the English word deer. That's probably where it came from because, you know, there's a lot of mix. Uh, English is a mix of, of other languages, so maybe that's how it came yeah. to be. But that makes you wonder, do, do you know the history of the word that we currently use now, animal? Like, how did that come to be? I th- I'm pretty sure that's Latin. I think that, that was borrowed from Latin, I think. Oh, that makes sense because in Spanish, animal. Yes, okay. So, uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, and probably in Latin, it just means anything that's alive, right? Something with, with, with animus, probably. That makes sense, yes. But so, because humans, we're animals, right? We're just animals yeah. too. So. Yes. Mm-hmm. Are you an animal? Let us know in the comments below. The part two of our Old English conversation will appear somewhere on the screen when it's available. Visit Simon's channel for more Old English content or check out the contact details for the other participants of the video in the description box. Mm-hmm.